Okay, something else you might want to do is uh, do some statistical analyses to determine if, for instance, uh, length was significantly different between controls and uh, the experimental group. So now in, uh, in what I'm going to show you, uh, I'm just going to go over the mechanics of how you do the analysis um, and not get into the assumptions uh, that you're making with the analysis. Okay, so what we're doing is we're comparing a continuous variable against a, uh, a ca categorical variable. Okay, so for that we go to analyze and there's various ways to do it, uh, but I always use fit model and so you need a response variable for your y. So in this case, uh, I'll use length. Um, and what the heck, I'm also going to want to see if there's an effect on weight. So I can put both in there at the same time. And I want to ask if there is an effect of treatment. Okay, so hit run. And uh, there you have the analysis. So uh, all of these plots here are uh, basically a bit of quality control. Um, and the only thing you want to check with them really is whether you have uh, some really wacky variables, some outliers, right? So if you had a bunch of points here and then just one point down here, you would uh, perhaps ask yourself what was going on with that point. Now you shouldn't throw out or discard data just because it's an outlier or you know it's it's sort of messing up your results and not giving you the result you want um, the data is the data but if you do see something that appears very unusual then that is a reason to perhaps go back and see whether maybe you put a decimal place in the wrong place or you typed a number in wrong or you can go back to your notes and see if actually you know that experimental animal was really sick and so maybe you don't actually trust that value um, and to find out so this is actually two data points right next to each other um, but to find out which one it is I just hover over it and it tells me that this is row 19 so if I wanted to inspect that I could go over here to my data table and and find out what row 19's data was. Okay, so I was asking uh, whether treatment affected uh, length. So the response uh, is length here, and this is the effect of treatment. So I've got the means uh, for the two treatments, control or experimentals. Um, and then the stats are down here in effect tests. Um, and the p-value in this case is 0.7887. So uh, actually, if you hover over it, I think it will tell you, uh, maybe not, sometimes it tells you uh, what the p-value means. But uh, a large p-value like this would indicate that there's no uh, statistically significant difference between uh, the treatments in terms of length. And... Um, further down, we have the same analysis for weight, right? And uh, we can look at the p-value in the effect tests. And you see it's nowhere close to 0.05, so that's definitely non-significant. Um, okay, and if we don't want to get confused about which analysis we're looking at, we can click these little uh, buttons and collapse uh, the output, right? So I've just collapsed the output for length and now I can focus on the output for weight. And uh, if I find these graphs um, distracting, I can hide them and just look at uh, the, oh, it collapsed uh, the statistical results as well. So, uh, there we go. I can go and find my uh, statistical result again.